so in this lecture we are going to study about passing character string to functions and as we can see from this example so there are basically two ways of passing character arrays so here in this code we see that we have char ch10 which is initialized to a b c d till j now we make a pointer so as again we discussed so making a memory map is helpful so let us make memory map of this character array so it has 10 elements 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So now one thing to notice is that it's all of one byte. So if this starts at let's say memory location 100, so this will be 101, this will be 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108 and 109. So these are the memory locations where A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J are stored and this is a character pointer and its name is CH. So this is the pointer to this array CH and in this line we see so we have char star pc is equal to ch plus 5 so this is ch so now let's see where is ch so this is ch so ch plus 5 will be 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this is f and so ch plus 5 is where pc points to so now what we do is that we are making quite a few function calls so f1 ch when we do so now let's look at these two functions so first one is f1 which takes char star s and prints the percentage c and the value of s another one takes the character array and again it also prints the same so what we see is that when we pass f1 ch so it means ch is pointing to a so it will be passed the address location s will be 100 and it will print percentage c so it will print an a here then when we go to f2 ch so it is the whole again so we are passing the whole character array and it will again print the first value so which is a now next when we do f1 ch plus 3 so this is so let's see where is now ch plus 3 so this is ch 1 2 and 3 so this is ch plus 3 and we know from our earlier thing that ch plus 3 means ch of actually 3 so this is ch of 3 and so we will get f1 ch plus 3 will print uh, d then f2 ch plus 5 will print so ch plus 5 will come to f and it will print f here then it prints f1 pc it goes and pc is at here so it will again print f and then P f2 pc minus 3 so it will go here and pc is here so now we know that pointer arithmetic by pointer arithmetic what happens is that this is pc so it now it is pc minus 3 so it goes 1 2 and 3 so pc minus 3 so it comes to 112 and so f2 pc minus 3 will print a c here 
and f1 pc so it's done f1 pc plus 2 so now pc is so again a good question is where is pc so pc is still here so pc plus 2 will go to this and then this so which is 107 memory location and it will print h for us and then f2 pc minus 1 so will print and e so this is what we see so this is the output a a d f f c and h e so now let's see what is getting printed so we run line by line so this is what is done so let's see the variables so we have ch so ch1 ch2 so all of them are assigned values and so let's see now it goes so c pc is now ch plus 5 we have f so let's see f1 ch and f2 ch what it printed so it prints a comma a so that's what we saw it goes to the next line it prints ch plus 3 ch plus 5 so df are printed it goes to the next line and fc is printed and again so now h e is printed so pc was so h and e so that's what we also saw from our example so this is what was expected and so this basically ends our session on passing character arrays to a function so it can be passed using so let's summarize so character arrays can be passed using pointer or array notation to both we saw the memory map so this is about pointers and passing character arrays to function this ends our session